Okay, let's do a few test wells on this adjustable delay timer switch. Okay, that's one. Two. Pretty good. If you pull hard, yeah, you need a pair of pliers to, to get this out. Okay, let's talk about a little bit about the how to power this board. You can see there's a micro USB here, so you can use my uh, five volt micro USB, or you can use anything from 6.3 to 30 volt DC. You have positive and at the top here, negative in the middle, and you have a trigger connection. And basically, you can add a momentary switch and connect it to the trigger and the negative. And then, when you click your momentary switch, your timer will come on, or just use a trigger that is built in. This one has a built-in trigger. Right? So to adjust the uh, timer, you turn it clockwise. You turn the trim pot clockwise to increase the time that the timer will be on. Or you turn it counterclockwise to decrease the time. Right. Right. So for my smart welder, I have to turn it much less than one second. I have to set it basically to what I uh, set for this timer board here, point two seconds. Whereas on this one, I cannot really tell whether it's 0.2 second or not because there's no readout. You just have to set it and then try it. And if it works, you leave it. And the not so good thing is, of course, it's difficult to adjust. You have to use a little screwdriver like this and, and turn the trim pot. Uh, I tried to make it easier for myself. What I did was I used a piece of wire from a paper clip. I just wrapped it into wrapped it around the knob here basically and uh, now I can make adjustments without having to use a screwdriver like that. The kind of uh, paper clip wire that you use I use something like this. This is a high quality one. So, and the wire is very thin. Instead of these cheap ones here, this is like plastic coated. And this have more of like a spring action. So, when I snap it onto my knob here, it clings so it won't come off. Of course, if you pull hard, it'll come off. You see, I made another one like this, right? So you can adjust without using a screwdriver. If you want to make it even stronger, drop a drop of uh, crazy glue on here. It'll make it much better. But as it is, you see, it's okay. Unless I pull on it, it's not going to come off. So that's my way of uh, customizing this trim part here. This is a W103 uh, variable resistor and you can add your own trim part. You can desolder this and use a potentiometer. It's uh, one mega ohm so you can do that if you if this paper clip bothers you 
you can uh, use it for your alarm or you can use it in an uh, automobile uh, you can deal you can uh, incorporate it into your wiring so it won't turn on your device until say like five seconds after you start the car that way you your equipment won't get that surge of electricity and maybe damage your equipment um, so you can use the timer also to um, close the circuit on anything or open the circuit on on anything that you you want the bottom two connection is for the normally open and when you click the timer like on this solenoid here is normally open when you click the timer the call terminal is energized and it closes the connection on the other normally open terminal and the top two terminals uh, for connection to normally close so if your light is on if you make the connection to the top two pin when you click it your light will go off for the duration for 10 seconds 20 seconds or whatever and then it'll come back on so it depends on how you want to use this and it can handle 250 volt AC 10 amps or 30 volt DC 10 amp and when your trigger is pressed you have a red LED indicator um, lighting up okay so I just did a few spot welds and uh, you see they came out pretty good almost the same almost the same as this timer here which I made a video before and the